So today I wanted to make a quick video showing how I have my creator board set up by Work Louder. I know a lot of people use it for Premiere Pro and you know some people use it for Photoshop, but for all my Premiere Pro users, this is how I set up my keyboard. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so first we're gonna go through the knobs and I'll actually have my knob set up on this keyboard. So the first knob here, I actually have to scrub through my timeline pretty fast. Um, this one's not gonna be as accurate as the next button, but this one's just gonna get me to a certain point on my timeline. And let's say I have a, like a long video that I'm editing and I'm trying to get further down my timeline. That's what I use this one for. Um, next, if I click it, it's gonna actually play wherever my playhead is. So the next button is actually gonna be for like more fine tune scrubbing. Let's say, you know, I wanna go through and I actually wanna look at a clip more in detail. This one's gonna go through and get me like that fine tune scrub so I can actually go frame by frame and actually see what I wanna keep. Um, another thing that I actually connected this button to was cut. So as I can fine tune and I can scroll through, let's say I need to make a cut, boom, we'll just go there, boom. Now we got our cut and we're good to go. Um, this last knob here I actually have is for zooming in and out of my timeline. So let's say I wanted to zoom out here and then we can zoom back in and let's say we want to be more precise on what we're looking at. Boom, we'll zoom all the way into the timeline and let's say I wanted to scroll here. Um, when you actually click this button though, it's gonna highlight or it's gonna create an in and out point, whatever clip you have highlighted. So if I have this clip highlighted, boom, I press that, it's gonna create an in and out point. I have that set up, so then let's say I need to um, render in and out that section because my computer's acting slow or I just wanna render it in and out and actually see how it looks like in real time. Boom, you just highlight it, create your in and out points and then you go ahead and uh, render it in and out or export it. All right, so now we're gonna go into the buttons and how I actually have my button set up. So my first button here is gonna to be to import my clips into my timeline. So let's say for instance, like I had all my files in a folder and I just wanna import that whole folder. Boom, you just press that, click on the folder, it's gonna import it all into Premiere Pro. Uh, my second button here is actually to link and unlink media. So let's say for instance, like this clip down here, I wanted to unlink it, I didn't want the audio connected to it. Boom, we just press that, now we done unlinked all our media and nothing's connected, so now I can just take this clip and move it however I want. The next button I have set up is gonna be for pasting attributes. So let's say for instance, I went down here and I copied this and I wanted to paste it on this. I wanted to paste whatever I had on that previous clip onto this clip. So boom, I press that button, I can go ahead and paste all my attributes. It just makes it life easier. Next button is delete. So I made that button red, so then, you know, delete, red, get rid of it. So if I want to delete this clip, boom, there we go. It's gone, it's out of our timeline. So this next button I have is for link media. And let's say for instance, like this clip was offline, you know, I done moved it to a different folder, Premiere Pro can't find it. Boom, you click this button, we're gonna go ahead, or we're gonna locate it, you found what folder you have it in. Boom, there you go, click okay. Now you got your files linked. I know sometimes that happened to me if I sit here and I jump the gun and I start editing something and I haven't organized all my files into the proper folder. If I sit here and move it to a different folder, Premiere Pro is like, whoa, where did it go? Boom, there we go, we can go ahead and link our media. So the next button that I have up is speed duration. So let's say for instance, like I wanna slow down a clip, boom, you just press that button, whatever you wanna slow it down to, if you wanna slow it down 50%, 70%, whatever. There you go. Uh, next button is actually for our audio channels. So for instance, like right now, I have this, I have my recorder recording on the right channel. So right now you're only gonna hear the right side if you have headphones. So if I go here and I click it and I go right, right, now you're gonna be able to hear me on both sides of your headphones. So let's say for instance, I'm using one of my DJI mics and let's say I have one connected to a bride and one connected to a groom. If I wanna hear specifically what the groom is saying, then I'm gonna move it to whatever channel the groom is on specifically and vice versa. So this button right here I actually have set up for rendering in and out. So with this knob that I have up here, I have it set to create my in and out point. So when I click it, it's gonna have that area for my in and out. And then once I click this button, it's gonna render that section out. So then I can actually see what it looks like. Um, you know, sometimes, like I said, you know, your PC may lag or you wanna see it in real time. You can render in and out that section. Lastly, this is my favorite button. I love it uh, when I get to this point. So let's say you already have your timeline, you know, you're ready to go, you're ready to export your timeline. Boom, you press that button, it's gonna take you right to your export screen and then you can go ahead and customize all your settings and have your video exported. Um, I like that button because then I'm done with the project, I know everything's said and done and we're ready to go ahead and send everything off. So that's how I have my creator board set up. Uh, I did have to go on Premiere Pro and create like a certain function on some of the keys. I have that listed down below. 
like let's say for instance like control k is for cut so i had to create my own custom functions for some of my actual keys and then went over to via and then made the macro for it but uh, i have all that listed down below so if there's anything in specific that you need to create i have it below so you actually know what you're doing and i also have my macros down below and how i have all my macros set up so i hope this video helps someone um if you could leave a like and thank you for watching